in addition to former Temple Owl, and that's Steve Maneri. Steve, Zach, and Chase here. How are you? Hey, guys. How you doing? Good to be on. Well, it's great to have you on, and we're doing great, and we appreciate a few minutes. And we saw a picture that Coach Matt Rule posted after the game uh, with you and uh, some of your former teammates and a bunch of other former Owls uh, on the field. Just how nice was it to watch that Temple win with some of your former teammates? Yeah, I've been to one other homecoming, and uh, this one blew it away. There were so many guys there. I mean, it was only a handful of guys that weren't there that uh, we played with and we worked with. It was just great to have uh, the atmosphere. You know, we all went in the locker room. Coach was very welcoming. And there's a lot of guys that are coaching now that we played with. And, you know, obviously Matt, Tyree, Ed, uh, they're all coaches there, and we all have experience with them, and we have relationships with them, and it's, it's just good to be back. We felt at home. It also helped that you had the Broncos and Jets playing each other at uh, MetLife Stadium because there was a lot of former Temple Owls in that game. Uh, Brandon McManus, Muhammad Wilkerson, uh, Jaquan Jarrett, and a host of others. But this is a Temple football team. They're 4-1. and one. Uh, They're playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, they finally found their identity. Uh, they trusted the process, as Matt Rule said. And a big moment in this game was that 99-yard drive following the goal line stand. Also, when the Temple Owls went down by three, you saw the quarterback in P.J. Walker back bounce back with the big 30-yard touchdown pass to Jalen Fitzpatrick, followed by um, a few plays later on the next possession, a uh, screen pass to Jihad Thomas for a touchdown. Just how impressed were you with the quarterback, P.J. Walker, on Saturday? I mean, I've been impressed with him since last year. He's a, he's a playmaker, something we need. We had a guy on our team, Bernard Pierce, who really uh, was really the, the catalyst and turned the program around, and I think P.J. Walker is the guy for this team. And I'm excited to watch him. We're talking to Steve Maneri, former Temple Al. And Steve, this defense has been excellent all season long. They forced 17 turnovers, one of the better units in college football when it comes to forcing turnovers. Would have uh, caused you a lot of headaches to go up uh, against a defense like this in practice when you were here? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, our defense is pretty solid, too, when I was there. But what really got us hyped, and I know what got them hyped, was that um, that, that goal line stand. I mean, mm-hmm. that, that's just a momentum changer. When you, when you turn the ball over on downs, when they have pretty much guaranteed points that close to the goal line, I mean, I think that was a big game changer for them. A lot of people had lobbied for Coach Rule to take this job when Steve Adazio decided to, to take the head coaching position at Boston College. He was here during your tenure, and so far in, in a year and change, he's really overturned the culture of this football program. They have a beautiful practice facility now on 10th and Diamond. They have an indoor uh, facility that they use sometimes on Broad Street, and, and you can see that the players are clearly buying into what Rule is preaching. What do you think about the job that Rule's done so far? I mean, I think he's done an excellent job. He obviously had a tough year last year, but he was competitive in a lot of games. And uh, this year, his, his second year in, and he's he's really taken over. And guys are buying in, like you said. I mean, four and one, you can't beat that. You were here when Al took over, and you guys had some losses before you ended up getting uh, to that bowl game a few years later. Uh, just how much is it when you have a new coach that comes in? Does it come down to these players just trusting the process? Because every time you hear Coach Matt Rule speak in a press conference, you could hear him say the word process almost 10 or 15 times. Yeah, it's a process. It's, it's always been a process. Um, there's a lot of rules. As, as a college football player, you go from high school going to college, and uh, there's a lot of little things you don't really understand that really help the program and the older guys it's their job to be leaders and to establish that those rules and establish the overall uh to what i'm looking for uh just establish to the winning attitude the winning program um together so i think uh the more little the more the young guys buy in the the better the team is and i think that's what we're seeing here we're spending a few minutes with Steve Maneri, former Temple Owl, current free agent in the National Football League, had some stops uh, with the Bears in his NFL career. Uh, Steve, uh, l- let's get to, uh, you know, just talking about more about building this program. Now you have some success. Last year they only won two games. Uh, out of your first five games, the team has won four. Uh, and then you know how just people are. People start thinking, oh, that this team could start going to a bowl game. All they have to do is win two more games to become bowl eligible. As a player, how do you stay focused and just – uh, focus on that task at hand about going up against a pretty good Houston team this coming Friday night under the lights. Yeah, they got a big game Friday night, and uh, the only thing they can do about being ball eligible is beating Houston. That's the only thing they can do right now. And I'm sure they all know that. You know, I'm sure the coaches are preaching that to them. And they just win one game at a time. That's all it takes. And uh, I mean, they're, they're on their way, and hopefully they keep winning, which I'm confident they will be. And uh, we'll be bowling soon.
Steve, this is a team that went to a bowl game a couple of years ago, and, and they've had some success, but since moving to the American Athletic Conference and the Big East, they haven't got to that bowl game. It looks like they're on their way this year. Uh, but when you were with this program, there were a lot of players that ended up going to the NFL, yet uh, from an outsider's perspective, not a lot of people gave this team a lot of credit or national recognition. How did that fuel you guys in the locker room, on and off the field, to become better players and to improve as a team, uh, to kind of make people notice what you were doing on North Broadsheet? I think we were more fueled from within. I mean, we believed in ourselves and how much we worked in the off season, And it was really just a fire from within, within our team, within our program. The outside noise was something we were kind of taught to ignore. And I'm sure that's the way they're doing it now. Uh, Colin Thompson transferred from Florida to Temple over the offseason. He was a really highly touted recruit coming out of Archbishop Wood High School. He, he's starting to see more and more snaps. Have, have you been able to, to talk to him at all? Because uh, he, he's got a really great skill set. Yeah, I met him briefly in the sideline. I know he's coming back from injury right now, mm-hmm. and I'm excited to see what he can do. He's got to represent that number 86 the best he can. <laughs> That's a great line from Steve Benary. He joins us right now, uh, WHIP Radio here in Philadelphia via iHeartRadio. And uh, when you go through injuries, and Colin Thompson has been a player that has gone through some injuries, now adapting to the new system, like Chase mentioned, he, he comes over from Florida. Uh, does, does, how long does it usually take for a guy to get acclimated to the system? Because Temple does a lot of things on that uh, offensive side of the ball. Sometimes they're running it, uh, then they have some trick plays in there. It, it's a little bit of a complicated offense. Uh, from what I understand, he's a smart kid, and he's got a hell of a coach coaching him, Coach Foley. Uh, I think he's probably ready. It's more of probably the physical. I mean, I don't know. I don't know his injury situation or how much he studies, how much he's in the film room, but I imagine he's ready. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what he can provide in the red zone because ever since Robbie Anderson has left, uh, they're still looking for that big red zone target. But let's get to the running game. I know you've changed positions a few times in your career, bouncing back between tight end and and an offensive lineman. Jihad Thomas was the running back on Saturday, and he went out there and had a big game. But in the offseason, uh, he was playing some corner. Obviously, he's had some experience in the past playing running back. Him and P.J. Walker both went to the same high school and won a state championship. But uh, when we were in the summer, he was – being focused in as a cornerback, and then eventually P.J. went into Matt Rule and said, hey, let's get him on the offensive side of the ball. How tough is it to make that position change? And I have to imagine it's a rewarding experience for Jihad Thomas after his big game on Saturday. Well, I mean, Thomas had a lot more of a change than I had. We had guys on our team when I was there, uh, Marquise Liverpool and Keir Griffin. They both bounced around from offense to defense. And that's I'm sure that's definitely a challenge. Uh, for me, it was tight end of tackle. I mean, as when I was at Temple as a tight end, I was basically a third tackle anyway. So I don't think it was uh, as much of a change for me as it was for these guys. How much of a challenge is it for a young team and, and a football team in general uh, to play a game and then travel and fly to a different city and play on a short week? Uh, it, it's definitely a challenge. I mean, the, the physical list during the week is a little less because you got to recover and then you got to get ready to play again. But uh, they take care of you pretty well. You know, they'll be in the hotel. They'll, they got their flight. They got their plenty of room on the plane, and they get their food and stuff. They'll be okay. I'm not worried about. Them. Final one here with Steve Maneri, who joins us right now. Temple comes off the big win up against Tulsa. Uh, they have Houston coming up this Friday under the lights. 9 p.m. Eastern time is the start. The Owls look to try to get their fifth win of the year. And, Steve, uh, like we were talking about a little bit earlier, uh, this has been a job that uh, Matt Rule has wanted, and the alumni really made a big push for him when Bill Bradshaw was looking to replace uh, Steve Adazio. Just, can you just share us an experience that you've had with Matt Rule just to show the importance he's had to your career because every time a former player comes back it really is a tight brotherhood between him and some of his former players absolutely I mean, he's a guy he's homegrown he's temple made he uh his, his wife works at the facility works at the school he's coached four different positions he's been a coordinator he left he came back he's just, he's just a guy that that grew at temple just like we grow at temple so i mean it's it's Really important for him to be there, and, and we think he's going to be here for a long time, and we're very happy about it. And that longevity is something that is definitely key because people have looked at this Temple job as a stepping stone job, and you could tell Matt Rule is in here for the long haul. And this is some of these players on this team, they've gone through three coaches with uh, the change of Al Golden to Steve Adazio and to now Matt Rule. Just how encouraging is it to a player or even a potential recruit that's coming that's saying, hey, you have a man that's committed here for the long-term future? It's very important. I think that's uh, 
a very important thing for these high school kids and for these young guys to know that this program has stability and it's going to be the same way for a long time and, and they're going to win a lot of games. And I think that's uh, good for recruiting and I'm looking forward to the next class of recruiting. Well, Steve, we appreciate a few minutes today, and next time we see Colin Thompson when he gets some media availability, we'll tell him, don't embarrass Steve Maner. You have to represent that number 86, really, with class. Absolutely. <laughs> we appreciate some time today, Steve. Thanks so much. All right. See you later. Steve Maneri joining us on the hotline, Philly's number one college radio station, WHIP. Some really good stuff with the former Temple Owl football player. So everyone we talked to, and we knew Matt Rule was the perfect man for the job when he came on in here, is they want rule, they want rule, they want rule. And you could just see how gregarious he is with the media, with the players. And they're not only making some noise here in Philadelphia. Nationally, they're really building something for the future. And I do believe that. And you could just see with some of the recruits they bring in, they're competing with some big schools in this country for recruits.